Hello, we're in this beautiful kitchen in Powerhouse Appliances in New Milford, Connecticut. And we are making not one, but three delicious salads today with our friend, Aww. Kimberly Long, <laughs> the artist, the coach, coach. the cook. That's Got it. Right. <laughs> there it <is. laughs> so what are we doing today? So it is summertime. Finally, finally, finally. Yes. We've had a very long winter, right? I think I did the happy dance when the last yeah. little bit of snow melted in my driveway. <laughs> so we're gonna do three salads. And what I love about salads is, salads are whatever you want it to be. And I've kind of discovered some new ways of doing salads. So we're gonna do a romaine salad. Yep. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do a kale salad, which is, by the way, my new favorite yeah. food. If Delicious. you haven't discovered it yet, isn't I it awesome? It. Yeah. It. it is a super food. And we have a spinach, we're gonna do a spinach salad. Okay. So, we barbecue a lot in the summer. Yep. We have friends over in the summer. And the last thing you wanna do in the summertime is turn your stove on because yes. it heats the house up very yes. quickly. My husband is always saying right? that to me. Don't it turn the stove so on. so hot. <laughs> so, we go to grilling. So you can grill all of your meats on the grill and you can even throw this little nice romaine. You which can throw that on the grill. We did actually. Which we yeah. did. What did you do? Just brush so it. So basically, when you grill romaine, you have to watch it. Okay. You don't want it to like. Right. It will catch on fire. <laughs> <I'm sure. laughs> so you brush it with a little bit of olive oil, which we have some really great olive oils here oh, from Nutmeg, Nutmeg Olive, olive Oil, oil. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Company. And you brush it with a little bit of olive oil, and you put it on the grill, and you just watch it, and you. You turn it until it gets that, the grill marks or that nice little char to it, and then you take it off. It's delicious, yeah. okay? Looks so, delicious. we have lots of stuff here, okay? And the last thing as women we wanna do when people come over is slave in the kitchen. No, right? so we this, don't wanna. And we just wanna have some wine, wine drink and relax, wine. right? Yeah. Drinking and wine. We wanna thank Hopkins Vineyard for yes. sponsoring our wine for today, so. Yummy. It is Check them out. Delicious. I'm having the Chardonnay, which is really good. Ooh, yeah. Or to the red. We're so. having the red barn. Yeah, the red yes. barn. Yes, yeah. it's delicious. delicious. So we don't want to spend all of our time in the kitchen when we have guests over. And the thing about salads is somebody's always like, I don't like red onions. I don't like cucumber. <laughs> I don't like mushrooms. But we don't have them. We don't have those. We don't have those today. <laughs> so what I want to show everybody is how to set up a beautiful assembly line. As you can see, this is very colorful. Yeah. And it's, it's gorgeous, and actually. Healthy. And it's very, very healthy. We have some grilled chicken. We have a grilled ribeye that we put on the grill earlier. Actually, thank you, Michael. Yes, Michael, my <laughs> fiance. <laughs> and um, we have three different types of lettuce. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our own salads, okay. okay? So I have kale because kale is my favorite. And I gave you spinach, you've got romaine. Yep. So we're gonna chop our salads. And the great thing about chopping is that it's all bite size. Yeah. So you chop everything, you prep everything beforehand, you put it out in nice little bowls, colorful bowls, and people can make their own salad. They can put what oh, they perfect. want into it, right? It's like a salad so bar. It's a salad bar. So let me show you how to chop this romaine, okay? okay? Yep. I love romaine because you can buy it in the store in in a multi-pack. It comes in three or it comes in 10. If you're having a lot of people over, you wanna buy the big pack. But what I do is I cut it long ways this first. Way. I oh, cut yeah. it, so turn it this way. Let me help yeah. you. Hold, put, and hold it and slice it down long ways, down the middle, and maybe cut it on, yeah, on each side. What I would do is I would leave it together, but oh. since you did that, that's okay. okay. So then cut this again in half. Okay, I'm just gonna take this for you. Thank you. And then you're gonna turn it this way and start chopping from the end in small pieces, chop. Yeah, there you go, just take okay. a handful and basically you wanna be aggressive with the spinach. So you wanna hold that. it in that. a bunch okay. and then just okay. chop it, chop it. Okay, kale has this nice hearty vein that runs through it. Some people like the vein, some people don't. No, I don't like it. Laura doesn't like the vein. I don't mind it at all. I don't mind it either, actually. The kale leaf is very hearty, and kale is really good for you. It has a lot of health benefits. So what I do is I just take the kale and pull it off the, I pull it off the vein, and just, you know, put the vein aside. So there's two things you can do with the kale. You can either just tear it, because, you know, by the time you pull it off the vein, you know, it's fine to just chop it with your, pull it apart with yeah, your hands. Yeah. Or what I do sometimes is I put like three, two or three leaves together. I'm gonna break this 
Sorry, Laura. <laughs> and the vein gets thick at the bottom. So at the top, you can just chop it. And I like it tiny, so yeah. I'm very patient with my veggies. I don't mind chopping. Chopping is like therapy. So you, go ahead and slice your and go ahead and slice your chicken it, okay. however you want. Okay. In my opinion, the smaller the better. You like oranges, babe? I do. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna slice you up some oranges. Little orange. The orange is nice and juicy. So right and in now, the... if I was at home, one would go in my mouth. <laughs> right. Kind of like this. <laughs> yeah. I want to try the steak right now. Oh, this orange is so okay. good. Okay. Mm. So I've cut you a little orange. Mm. Let's put that on your salad. Thank you. Mm. Add some nice color. I love red onion. You got a salad, and you want to add some flavor to it. Dice that onion right up. Yeah. And I have some chopped Ooh, cranberries. cranberries. Yes. There you go. Uh, yes, some yes, of that. I like some it. of that. Some of that. You want some of that? Like with just the orange. Okay. How about some almond slithers? Ooh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wow. I've got a little feta going on here. Mm. Do you like feta? I love it. Yes. I'm gonna recommend that you have the feta with, with your the steak, steak because the dressing that I think is gonna be good on that salad yeah. is gonna go really good with that feta. Mm. Okay. And then we got a little bit of carrots here. I love how colorful this whole thing is. So we're gonna. These are julienne carrots, and then you just chop them up. Make them small. It's, it's your chop, chop, chop. it's your salad. Whatever yeah. you want in the salad, there's no right or wrong answer to the salad. All right, so there we go. Mm, yummy. Awesome. All right, so I'll give you Sprinkle a few. Sprinkle on. Yep, yeah, perfect. Well, I'm gonna have a few. You got your bath. I got them. I chopped them. Awesome. Okay. So what I love is that. Our salads are all very different, yeah. but all very similar, yep. right? Yep. And yep. there's so much stuff on this table. I have dried apricots Ooh, on this side, good. which with your dressing would probably go really good. Oh, it's so good. So, so good. the Thanks. final thing for our salads, the dressings. The dressings. Right? And we went to Nutmeg and Olive Oil. Yep, Nutmeg and Olive Oil. Uh, <laughs> nutmeg <laughs> Olive Oil the company. Tongue nutmeg Olive Oil. Mm. And Maureen, yep, that Maureen. was so good. I'm not gonna talk about my mouth though. So yeah. But Maureen gave us a, a oh. tasting through the store. Yeah, it's amazing. Which I was pretty impressed by because I had no idea that tasting olive oils could be very much like we tasting wine. We were there wine. for a couple <laughs> yeah. hours, I think. We were. <laughs> well, yeah. so she gave us all these great, unique combinations for the olive oil and the vinegars to make a dressing, yes. yeah. which we all, I think it's a lot of fun to make your own dressing at home okay. and not always eat stuff out of the bottle. You know, Absolutely. go out on a limb, yeah. Yeah, explore a little bit, you know, try some different flavors. But these vinegars, uh, she mentioned to us that we can marinate with them and we can use them as a drizzle. And I think yeah. that's an important piece because you can yeah. marinate your meats in these vinegars and the it, the flavors are just yeah, amazing. amazing. So and a little goes a long way with these. That's yeah. what she said. So so good. They're yeah. so good. Yeah. So we just so drizzle yeah, a little I'm just bit. gonna drizzle a little bit. You can mix them of course, yeah, okay. you know, but I'm just gonna drizzle back. Oh <laughs> <laughs> I opened everything for you earlier. So okay, here we go. Oh, uh, I did it. There you go. Oh, awesome. Awesome. It sound like a wine bottle. <laughs> really good at that. I'm really good at that. <laughs> I know. See, I didn't cut mine small enough. Did I get a fork? You didn't Here. cut yours. I know. Did you go. hear what Laura said, babe? I didn't cut mine small enough. But, <laughs> but that's okay. It's all right. Learn. Live and learn. Live and oh, learn. Yeah. It's all a learning experience. Okay, here we go. There you go. Mmm. So good. Mmm. So good. Mmm. We should sample each other. I was just gonna say the same thing. Switch, mm -hmm. switch. <laughs> Here, we're gonna but pass. Not yet, not yet. Oh, <laughs> okay, she's no. like, I need another bite. Okay. Mm -hmm. I wanna go to you. Mm -hmm. I highly recommend everyone go get the toasted sesame oil. It's really good. It's so. Wait, do you try this? Mm. Amazing. The herbs Provence. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. The herbs de, de, de Provence. Provence. Yes. <laughs> It has such an earthy flavor to it that I love that oil. That's kind of my, mm. that's my thing. Um, well, I want to thank you, Kimberly, mm -hmm. for teaching us how to make the perfect meal. I think my fiance will be pretty impressed <laughs> if I actually make dinner one you night. You can make a salad. I Laura. can make a salad. Salad I can do. Salad oh. and sandwiches. That's, that's it. it. <laughs> exactly. That's oh my, my forte. God.
<laughs> but thank you to Powerhouse Appliances for letting us use their beautiful mm -hmm. kitchen. Thank you for the wine. Cheers, yes. Hopkins, Hopkins Vineyard. 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 Love. And delicious. nutmeg olive oil. Yes, thank you. And the Milford, delicious. Awesome. 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 Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thanks.